Hey guys, it's finally here and we have got that cargo trailer that we're going to be building out for the off-grid farm. The 12,000 watt movable solar generator. Now the panels will not be connected to the top. They're going to be on a pole barn, 60 by 40, and they're going to be about 12,000 watts of solar panels. But let me take you inside and see what we're going to do. We're going to be building this out. We've already installed a stronger three-quarter plywood wall on this side to hold the 200 pound grow watt 12,000 watt inverter and it is already installed and all that has been glued and screwed but we're going to build this out we're going to run the main battery cables across the top and we're going to build out two 280 amp hour batteries on this wall we're going to start with them on the floor building shelves all the way up to accommodate a grand total of five battery banks or five batteries that will equal 12, 280 watts a piece. And uh, gonna have to hope that gets built out mostly today, so I'll give you an update here in just a few minutes. Well, we've gotten a right good bit done with the install. Uh, got the shelves built out, ready to hold the 300 starting pounds of batteries. And I've got one battery bank installed today and another one uh, about to get installed here in just a few minutes. This is for the off-grid trailer, 12,000 watt uh, powerhouse. And it's gonna be just like this, there they are. And you got the compression frame in there. Uh, not gonna compress them real tight, just enough to lock them in, but they're sitting down inside two by four boxes on foam. And they will ride just like that. And it's gonna work out really well. Got two banks going in, built enough for three more. Um, so that should look really good. You can see down here below, take you below with it real quick. And it uh, looks like this. Left me a gap right in there that I can bring wire up through. And uh, all of my wires are gonna run right through here. And go up to the next one. And then bring all the positive and negatives, they'll all be same length. I'm gonna bring them up to here and that's going to be a combination bus bar and then I'll run 4 watt cable all the way across to over to the grow watt 12,000 watt inverter that's what we got going on today and uh, this is day two of the build got all this finished up uh, just a few minutes ago about to bring the rest of the batteries in set them all up get them kind of compressed see how it goes Okay, day four of the build. Let's go inside the trailer and see what we've done. Yeah, we've been working real hard and got one battery set up and got the other one all ready to go. Just got to put all the pieces together uh, for this 48 volt, um, 12,000 watt off-grid cargo trailer that's going to the off-grid farm. Let's take a look at what we've got going on. We've got those shelves all built out, looking good double duty got the first row of batteries installed on the bottom got the second ones in there ready to go had them in compression frames earlier uh, basically for the hurricane but didn't have anything hooked up now we have this entire bank all connected and we've got the Helltech BMS way back in there his lights blinking doing its thing got the uh, class T fuse right there ready to go on the positive and then we ran the main power wires all the way up through the shelves first group to this bus bar right here that's two watt cable gonna be number four excuse me four watt cable going all the way from that bus bar all the way to the 12,000 watt grow watt inverter gonna be awesome and uh, so gonna get ready and start building the second battery bank in gonna be on this second shelf from the bottom real soon and um, I think it's gonna be awesome everything's working great so far everything is going really good all right we're about to get installing on the second battery bank um, it's gonna go right in this shelf and I've got to build out all of this all the electronics get all the cabling in everything's been pre-measured it's pre-cut got all the battery cables right here ready to go all the lugs pre-designed on there ready to go looking good so it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, gonna get this all built in 
And if you'll just stay right there, we will get this thing going. And uh, I'll have this thing powered up in probably uh, Monday, because it's late in the day and hands are tired. And I'm ready to be done with this project for today. So, all right, man, check us out. And uh, let me get going on this, and I'll be right back. Okay, that's how I mount the BMS. Now I'm going to run the main power supply negative lead down from the top and get ready to hook up the battery lead as well. There it is. The bus bars, both battery bank main power cables are connected to the primary bus bars. Goes down the shelf, comes all the way down. That's temporary setup there. And there is the second battery bank ready to be installed into the compression frame with the BMS. And of course this one down below all set up looking good looking good all right there is the battery bms and the battery um fuse all set up all the cables are run got that all ready so i'll check back later probably going to call it a day probably going to start on day five real soon all right good afternoon we are ready to get going building on the second battery bank getting it installed gonna get it put in right here uh, it's gonna be awesome got it all placed in got it all braced in got the compression frame set up about to do all of the wiring of the BMS and we're gonna have all this set up here in just a few minutes eh, probably an hour give or take but stay right there we're gonna go right through this whole process we're gonna have a lot of fun Gonna apply the contact grease in there. This is no ox ID, a special um, contact grease, and I'm gonna use it just kind of keep corrosion. This is an this is a movable portable setup. So every post gonna get a little contact grease. bars on um, all the bus bars got them right here and got like a bunch of the bus bars they're all going on there and they're all going to go on and it's going to go on each to bring this whole thing into a series connection back in here there it went yep it's blinking I don't know if you can see that the red light is blinking right here there's a little red light blinking indicating that we definitely have BMS connection 
So it is hooked up and running. Next step, we're going to see if we can get the app up and going. Okay guys, I'm going to start the app. And it started. And the app found the BMS. Unbelievable. Everything is working just like it's supposed to. It's going perfectly and it's looking awesome. 16 cells, the cells are slightly balancing. The delta is 006, 0.006. So we are very close, very, very good shape, very balanced. And 53.32 uh, volts, everything is working flawlessly. So everything is looking good. Check it out. looking great we've got it going on both battery banks are now put together I'm gonna call it a night we're gonna get back out here tomorrow get everything else wired gonna be awesome looking great gonna be incredible and I'm very excited about this got the entire battery bank lined out got the BMS in there working got the fuse on there it's getting the correct voltage all the way across so we are good to go got the app going mm -hmm.